In this video, we'll show you how to use things like drum loops and backing tracks in sessions, and also how to use this feature to make recordings of tracks by remote performers. Let's start with drum loops. Say you're in a session on Jam Kazam and you want some rhythm in your session, but you don't have a drummer handy. Now you can use a drum loop. If you don't already have some of these audio files sitting around, just search in your browser for free drum loops and you'll be swimming in them. Simply click the Open Audio File link, browse your computer, and grab the audio file for a drum loop. The audio file is loaded into your session. Then click play and the audio file is played both to you and anyone else in your session. Check the loop box and the audio file will automatically play in a loop until you click pause and you and others in the session can play along with it. You can easily adjust the volume of the recorded audio track, just like any live track in the session, and this will adjust the volume of the track for you and everyone else. The Jamkazam app supports several popular audio file formats, with the notable exception of the MP3 format, due to royalty issues. If you have audio files in an unsupported format, we'd recommend using one of a number of free audio file format converters, such as the free online converter service at media.io. You can work with other instrumental backing tracks in the same way. For example, let's open a blues keyboard backing track. Just like a drum loop, you and others in your session can play along with any instrumental audio file you want to use. You can use Jam Kazam's recording features with backing tracks as well. Just click the button to start your recording, click play on your track, and then play along. Any live parts played by you or other musicians in the session will be recorded in sync with the backing track. When you're done, stop the recording and save it. You'll have access to the master mix, as well as the isolated tracks of each live instrumental or vocal part that was played along with the backing track. As a side note, we've had various members of the community ask about making long distance recordings. This new feature makes this really easy. Just open an audio file of what you've got recorded so far, and have the musician who is going to lay down a track for you play along with the recording in a session just like we've shown in this video. Then export the isolated audio track of that musician's performance and bring it into your DAW to put it together with your other tracks. Even if the musician is so far away that there is high latency, it won't matter. For example, if the musician was playing with 50 milliseconds of latency, it's fine because he or she will be playing consistently 50 milliseconds behind the recording, but it will sound fine to the musician, and then you can just slide the track 50 milliseconds up in your DAW and it will be right in sync with your baseline recording. Hopefully this makes sense, but you'll see it works if you try it. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope it was helpful.